All right, guys, so I know a lot of people have been asking about a crit team review, and that is going to be because of the fact that Oyster Cookie, if you guys remember, is going to be increasing all of your cookies crit percentage by 16.5% as well as increasing the crit damage by 13% and because of the fact that we have Twizzly as well as now Crunchy Chip utilizing skills based on crit percentage I felt like using someone like Sparkling to increase the crit percentage for everyone as well as Oyster Cookie is going to be awesome however there is one spot missing and a lot of people have been asking whether to use a cream puff or, uh, you know, in this case, it's going to be Blackberry. So I'm actually going to be doing something, of, you know, first try here. I'm not going to be doing Blackberry right away, but if you guys do want to stick around to watch till the very end to see the Blackberry in action, then you guys can do that as well. But in this case, I'm actually going to be taking advantage of Clotted Cream because if you guys remember, Clotted Cream is going to be t doing 22 individual takes, which can actually crit also so that's gonna be what i'm gonna be trying out here and if you guys look at the uh, treasures right now you guys are gonna be able to see the scythe scroll as well as the jelly watch scythe is just gonna be insane here increasing the crit percentage for all the cookies almost 30 percent and if you add the uh crit percentage from sparkling that's extra 25 percent that's already 55 on top of that if you do add i always stirred at 60 uh 16.5 percent that already makes it without any other buff, over 70%, all right? So we have 70% extra crit for every single one of our cookies. On top of that, if you guys look at the toppings here, we are going to be going with the full on crit, uh, you know, build here for our crunchy chip. Uh, our searing raspberry for our clotted cream just focusing on damage resist attack and the cooldown here oyster is going to be using the same one that i've shared with you guys previously that's going to be the two of the swift chocolate three solid almond focusing on damage resist as well as cooldown you do need at least 11.2 percent uh, with the max out jelly watch in order to have a total of three soldiers out in the field all right and the next one is going to be our twizzly twizzly is using three searing raspberry two juicy apple jelly you do see that we have a decent amount of damage resist as well as crit percentage and attack which is going to be great because you know we already have a total of over 70 percent extra crit boost that is happening with all of the cookies and the boost so that's going to be a good mixture here and the last one is going to be our sparkling sparkling utilizing the five of the sweet chocolates so that we can have that 25 percent crit buff every single time as soon as possible all right so we are going to be using this team the total power is a massive massive 1 million three hundred and thirty nine thousand here guys and that is going to be with a level 70 team and with oyster at three stars so let's go into the battle with some friends first and we're going to be battling some of the very popular summoner comps right now all right, guys, so here we go. This is going to be a very popular summoner comp, and this is something that I've shared with you guys previously in my video as well. But here we go, guys. Let's see how well our crit team can perform against a team like this. All right, guys, so if you guys remember, uh, you know, a crit team, usually a burst crit team is really, really, really good against summoner comp. And as you guys can see here, uh, I kind of tested this out uh, earlier too, but man, it just... Like one skill and pff, obliterates every single one of the units. Like it's insane how strong this team is against a summoner comp like this. And look at the amount of damage our Clotted Cream is able to do. So of course because of the uh, cooldown boost, we are able to see that Oyster Cookie is actually going to be the first one to use a skill already providing 16.5% extra crit percentage, 30% from the scythe, and then Sparkling is going to follow right after, and then Crunchy, Clotted, Twizzly just doing so much AoE burst damage. We're going to be trying it out in other uh, against other comps as well. Alright guys, so here we go. We're going we're gonna to level up our Cream Puff here. All right, I did save up enough of the XP star jellies, and we we took advantage of a lot of the uh, you know. Ooh, I will get it up to. You know what? We'll just do it because I feel like we're not gonna have any other. Um, I don't think we're gonna have any other supports that come out later on, so. We're gonna level her up at least up to 68. Uh, can't do more than that. Actually, no, I can do more than that. I'll be right back, guys. 
All right, the bounty was there, so I reset it three times. Boom, level 70, and that is going to be right here 1350.7% damage if she is able to crit, all right, or if she's able to do a successful spell, which is based on her crit. All right, so already with the sparkling and everything, uh, we are receiving a ton of crit percentage. So I'm actually going to be putting uh, full on, uh, full on Sinian Raspberry here, guys. That's what I'm going to actually do. All right, guys, so here we go. We decided to try it out without the uh, Twizzly this time around. So we have uh, everybody the same except now. Cream Puff is actually going to be having five of the Sinian Raspberry here. Uh, with 6.9% crit, but we do have the buff from Oyster, Sparkling, and the Scythe. So we'll try it out this way, alright? So let's go back to the uh, the Summoner Comp and see how well we do first. Alright guys, so we're back to the Summoner Comp. We took out Twizzly here. Alright, so the skill order is going to be Oyster, Sparkling, Crunchy, Clotted, and then Cream Puff. And boom, still, still going to be uh, able to one-shot. Interesting. Okay. And then look at that healing. 392,000 heal from Cream Puff right there. Cream Puff still doing a lot of damage here. So if you guys look, 2 million damage from Cream Puff. Alright. So, and the healing. So we do have extra healing as well. So this is actually pretty darn good, right? Because we have healing uh, from Cream Puff as well. Alright guys, so we're back against this team. This is going to be the one with the standard double tank. We're going to try to beat it this time with the cream puff. Let's see how well we do when we do have extra heal and a burst damage. Oyster, sparkling, crunchy, clotted cream, and the cream puff. Cream puff did damage, but I don't know where all the other stuff went. Okay, we're all alive though. So that's good. Cream puff, heal. Wow, that burst heal is good. Sparkling. Okay, everyone's still alive. That's a good thing. Oh, Dang it. That was actually relatively... I mean, I, I would say that was better, though. That was better. Ah, the damage, though. You can see the damage is just not as good as before, right? Because they are taking a lot less damage, right? Um, and the healing, though. Look at that healing from Cream Puff. 3.3 million. Whew! It's actually crazy. Alright guys, so now this is an actual arena. So we're going to be versing a actual summoner comp in the actual arena. Uh, Master 3 area. Let's see how well we do when we use our Cream Puff here. Alright, here we go. <laughs> they're 470th place right there. So you can see that their damage resist is really like, you know, they're top notch. So... It definitely does hurt a lot more, and they do survive a lot longer. Oh, but the summoners! Oh my! The summoners just comes and kills us here. Even with the clotted here, guys. Oh man. Alright, I guess now, um, something that I promised, right? The Blackberry. So we're gonna, we're gonna level up Blackberry here. Alright, where are you? Boom. Never would have thought that I would level up Blackberry to max. Boom! Level 70! Wow, that's, that's everything. Alright guys, I'm gonna do up to level 60, okay? Just because I need it for my France Queen. I'm gonna get it up to 60. Yes, just 60, alright? I forgot my Frost Queen was not leveled up. We'll do up to 60, and then we'll test it out this way, alright? Okay, so with her, we already have 20%, so we're actually going to be taking it out of our clotted here. Alright guys, so here we go. We have a full-on massive, massive crit percentage team here. 25%, 20%, 17 or 16.5%, and a 30% here. And that is going to be where our, you know, team is going to be at right here. Wow, 75,000. All right, guys. So I actually switched out my Crunchy Chip for a, uh, for a full solid almond build. Just so that we have a tankiness. But here we go. We're going to use Blackberry here. We're going to try to see if our team here is going to survive and do a massive damage. Or we'll just die out. Here we go. Here we go. 
And they have a flaw screen on the other team. Okay, Twizzy skill actually got blocked right there. And dude, they just have too much stuff. Just eating through. And Blackberry uh, not being able to do anything. <laughs> There you go, guys. Blackberry doing okay damage, okay damage, but just <laughs> it's just not that good. <laughs> now, the last thing about this crit team we're gonna do is going to be utilizing the oyster crit uh, boost and the crit damage boost with the scythe to see if our frost queen and sea fairy can just absolutely obliterate. Uh, the other team with the amount of sheer burst damage that they have. So we are going to be using the full crit build here for our Crunchy. And then full searing raspberry here for our Sea Fairy. Full searing raspberry for our Frost Queen. And then the rest of them are going to be relatively the same. Alright, so we're going to go now and see how well we do against this team using our two legendary burst cookies. Alright guys, here we go. That's the summoner comp that we're going to verse. Let's see how well we do. Here we go. 196th place. They have a Frost Queen on the other team. That is a problem. Oh, I don't know if that did enough damage. Okay, we need to survive until the second round. We need to survive. Sea Fairy, yes. Frost Queen, yes. Yes, the damage is there. Survive. Where is the front line? No, where's the front line? No! Ah. Wait. Oh, their Frost Queen is still alive. Hmm. I feel like I feel like if we have a little bit more cooldown though, it might actually work out. So, Alright guys, so after trying out so many different crit comps, uh yes, I feel like it does have a chance of being in the meta and versing certain teams. But here's the thing, if you're versing a team that has a crazy amount of damage resist and sustain, then you're probably going to die off, especially if you're versing like a summoner comp, just because, you know, they just summon so many units. So I feel like, yes, take your chances for it, but Blackberry, eh, probably not going to be like the best thing to use inside of the arena for majority of you guys. So uh, that's what I would like to suggest and just take it for as a very kind of like an entertainment video then rather than a comp video that you know you want to actually try out for your arena all right so i would say mainly uh, going to be more of an entertainment type of comp for you all right 